Um, I'm gonna do a quick thing. I just got my Baker Creek seeds in the mail, and once again, I'm super excited. Oh, I keep looking at myself. I can't help it. I'm like, am I looking normal? No. Okay, so I got my seeds. They're all over the place. I can't really show you them because they're just all over the place. So they look like this. There's a bunch of them because I spent all my money on them. So this is what I'll be eating for the next year. <laughs> um, anyways. Um, donations accepted. Um, uh, I grow all of these. They are or pretty much organic. They're heirloom. They're not treated pesticides. Um, they're grown in like a natural type environment. And they are wonderfully kept because I never had an issue with like mold or germination rate except on maybe like the some of the weird things like this one which I'm trying again and this one which I'm trying again I cannot the Danish flag which I love this flower I love you know that culture too and and this uh the gourd I really want to grow again because I want to utilize the gourd I think that is a really cool thing and um I like to paint them and have them growing. They provide a really good shade too. Because uh, their leaves are huge. They're like this. And bees love the yellow flowers. Or white flowers depending on what plant. Um, but anyways, I have a couple things like beets for next year um, to save. And I have quinoa. This one's cherry vanilla. Um, winged bean. Uh... And they gave me a free seed packet of melon, which I hadn't planned on growing, but melon, it's a golden crispy, melon golden crispy. I thought that was really cool. And it looks yum, so I'm gonna try it. And I got a couple other things for greens and a couple herbs medicinal wise, and I'm super excited, so I have a ton of work to do. And one of the things I have going in is um, hairy vetch. And where is it? Um, well, I don't know where they are, but they're black peanuts. They're like small black peanuts, and I'm really excited about those because those are help gonna help my soil and yeah, that's what it's for. Anyways, um, that was just a little quick video. I'm gonna have a couple things more to say once I get you know going, but overall, I'm really really happy with Baker Creek. I've uh, never had a problem with ordering. Um, it's always come relatively quickly. It always feels like forever because I'm such a nerd and I love plants and I love seeds. So you guys might wait or watch the mailman, you know, or postal worker um, <laughs> for your packages of like, you know, DVDs or games or phones or whatever. But Oh, here's the peanuts. Um, but anyways, um, that's what I do for seeds and plants. And I have to, actually, the only problem I have is um, the uh, damage to the package. And then on the back, where is it? Right there. It was actually punctured through and caught right there. Like, so it looks like uh, just poor handling like really I've never seen it really this bad and I reuse stuff all the time so my envelopes look way worse than you know the, the wrinkles here um usually so I can understand but this is like this is kind of careless for the I think and I know that's not Baker Creek's probably probably that's just probably transit you know but uh, anyways, I appreciate that. I do have some plants coming, and I'm assuming that's what that 2.2 means, that I have some other stuff coming, so it's not all the way here yet, but I, I cannot wait to do a video. So um, that's all I have to share. And no, I don't have any, oh, bee balm I think I got, and uh, stuff to make uh, like a honey, but it's like a, made from corn. Um, but it'll be natural, so hopefully it'll be easier to grow. And cotton, which is super cool. But anyways, lots of stuff that I will be eating this, by the way. All this is my money spent. This is what I'll be eating all summer and all um, winter. 
for the next year, probably too. Um, I'll let you know if I have extra, I will definitely share. So you can do that. I do take donations for stuff. Um, and I share my seeds. So, um, that's pretty much it. Um, if I get a good germination rate, then I'll make another video and talk more about what plants I got and why. Or, or if you're interested, you can just say that. And if you comment, that'll be really cool because, you know, this is like not that easy to do. Talk to everyone, but no one at the same time. It's kind of weird. And I don't know why I want to do it so badly, but I do. So I'll take whatever comes, I guess, within limit, within reason. So anyways, leave a comment if you want to or suggestions or something and, you know, talking point. And I'll try to keep my videos short because, like, right now I'm on six minutes and I'm like, I don't want to take up all people's time. Um, but anyways, if you want to see something, let me know. Um, just so you know, next, uh, one of the next couple things I'm going to do is talk about these bends that I just got. Uh, IBC totes. And we're going to make an aquaponics system with it. Like a little one. Um, I don't know if it's going to be happening here or somewhere else. Or a farm. Uh, where I'll be staying over summer um, or not but anyways I will let you know <clears throat> anyways I'll be back and talk to you later bye